What up, world? What up, media? I am Dre Wise, and this is Dre Wise Topics. Thank you for clicking on this particular topic this evening, and thank you for viewing my previous videos here on YouTube called Dre Wise Topics. Thank you. I appreciate it. Keep commenting, keep liking, keep subscribing. Tell others about me. A young black man like myself, go by the name of Dre Wise. And I say this, the world will know my name and the world leaders will definitely know who is Dre Wise. Yes. Okay. I want to discuss with you um, and share my thoughts about this particular topic and a particular uh, well-known famous man, black entertainer, musician named T.I. He started off in rap. He made many albums. He um, um, multi uh, nominated and Grammy and He's into movies and things of that nature. But he said something that I totally disagree with he said. And I agree to his either soon to be ex-wife or separated or whatever current situation. You know what I'm saying? I agree to what his wife said. Now topic is... T.I. says marriage is a distraction. Mm. Now, T.I. Mm. He's approaching, what, fourth? You know? He got like six, seven, eight children, whatever, how many children he got. Now, T.I. was on a radio broadcast um, pod station somewhere in the world somewhere and this particular woman interviewed him and T.I. says something that he thinks it's common sense and it sound right but take notice real notice and listen listen what he was saying the woman was like that was interviewed was like what? what what do you mean what do you mean what do you mean he said i want to keep the name going of harris going i want to do this and that and business and things of that nature let me tell you some truth tia about your name harris <laughs> harris is not your family name that God said, Ah, I will be your Lord, and they come in my name and stuff. You are chosen by me. That name Harris came from a slave master. That name, your father, 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 great, great father, father, Harris. You know, pass on down, down the generation. Then, you became Harris, but that name Harris been here before you even got on earth in a city called Bankhead, Atlanta, whatever. You know? That name just carried on through the generation. It been here, so we talk about you carrying on some name. It been here, you know, through a particular slave master. Now, the thing is when you say you want to do this, you think do that, and I want to be a best friend to my ex-wife, and um, marriage is a distraction. What? You know what I'm saying? What? But see, I had an idea why it went that way. Like his wife said, 
He cheated. I said, oh, I knew I was right. Mm. If you read, take notice what T.I. was saying, media, world. He's really saying that he's not going to just dish it out. Just dish it out. Because if he just dish it out, it's a crumble and a downfall of his career. He's really saying, I don't want to be tied down. I want to do what I want to do. Um, I want to live a life of a single bachelor. And, oh, honestly, be a whore. Yeah. But see, notice something. What I'm about to say. Money. You can have all the money in the world. But money does not bring happiness. You know? No. Biggie said, more money, more problems. Yeah. What? bring happiness to a man is a woman. You know? A wise teacher, black teacher of a particular religious group of Islam said there's not a such thing as a no good woman. But what makes her no good is a no good man. You know? And I believe a woman brings heaven to a man, happiness to a man. What do you can have all the money in the world, but at the same time, while you got all that money, you can be lonely, you can do this, you can do that, you know, be miserable, whatever. But a woman brings happiness to a man, you know, for real. Flat out. That's why I believe. You know? So, if you really look what she was saying, he cheated. These thoughts, these groupies, they don't care nothing about you. They don't love you. I agree to that. But see, this goes out to all the rappers that's well known, basketball players that's well known, boxers that's well known. Or any person that's in a profession, uh, profession of um, business. Groupies, thoughts do not love you or care nothing about you. It's true. Only what they want to do is um, build a reputation foundation of I lay down with such and such. And if they say, oh, he got me pregnant. Oh, I'm going right downtown in my local area to pursue something that is child support as a come up of an uplift, of a broke off. Or they could say, as usual, you raped me and you got to pay me to get out this situation. Groupies do not love these entertainers, you know. Thoughts do not love these entertainers, you know. Ask Mike Tyson. Ask Kobe Bryant. You know what I'm saying? What happened in that situation? You know? Ask him. You know? Now when you say marriage is a distraction, that is a lie and that's not true. You know what I'm saying? Did you know what the scripture says? The scripture says this. Once a man leaves his father's and mother's house, what else is say? He goes out and search for him a wife. Now, what that scripture is saying is he searched for him a wife. He has children. He has a family. He has a home and a foundation of love and security and things of that nature. Where do you get this idea, T.I., to say, marriage is a distraction? But what you're really saying is, like I said, you want to... Um, do what you want to do. You got money. You want to lay down with whoever you want to do. You know. And you want to be a whore. And you want, you don't want to be tied down. That's it. But you're not going to tell that to the world. You know. 
Your wife already exposed that and she said you have been cheating. That's what I'm talking about. You want to live that single lifestyle as a bachelor, but not knowing that it's going to hurt your children. In what way? Why is daddy not here? Um, it just don't seem right daddy is not here in this household like he usually do every day. Seven days a week. 24-7. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 365 days a year. It's going to hurt them children. You know what I'm saying? And eventually, one of them boys is going to say, I'm going to be better than my father. Make better decisions than my father. You know? So I say this to you, T.I. Change the course. Make it right with your wife. You know what I'm saying? Because the groupies, all the other women that want to sneak in your hotel, want to sneak in your dressing room, want to sneak backstage... You know what I'm saying? The only agenda is to do this. Want to gain reputation that I lay down with T.I. I want to get pregnant by T.I. to get a leverage of child support, get broke off. You know? Or if I get the chance to lay down with T.I., I'm going to scream rape. They don't love you. They don't care nothing about you. You know what I'm saying? Marriage is not a distraction. You're already telling the world, you saying, like I said, you want to do what you want to do. You don't want to be tied down. So it do not make no sense when you were talking on that woman's podcast or radio saying it's a distraction. You want to keep the name going. You want to be this. It do not make sense. I think in my mind, as an opinion of an outlook, you are losing it. You know what I'm saying? You're losing it to try to talk of a... Uh, a sense of common sense, like it's so smart and good, but it don't make sense. Marriage, relationship, is not a distraction. Only when it's a distraction is you want to have your eyes wonder. You want to flirt, but you can't do it because you're tied down with one woman. You want to do what you want to do. You want to lay down with that woman because she got nice behind, nice breasts and a nice soul and her face look pretty. But at the same time, T.I., like the scriptures is, you're going to reap what you sow. And I bet you, let you get up in age and you sit in that mansion as an old man and watch your ex-wife move on with another man. You're going to sit in that mansion and think back by yourself as an old man in that mansion. I should never made that decision. I should never done that. You know what I'm saying? For real. <clears throat> You've been married to this woman for a pretty long time. Been with her a long time. And you're going to change the course and get out of that relationship. Get out of that marriage. For what? You know what I'm saying? How old are you? You know what I'm saying? You're pushing 40 or something. You know what I'm saying? How old are you? Do what's right. Why can't we as a people change the generation curse? Reverse the cycle of a repetition. Nothing changed since the last generation. And nothing is changing now in this generation. Why can't we change our current situation in this generation? we still repeating it. And that's what's wrong with the black woman now because of us. Black dudes. Because of us. We destroyed the black woman. You know what I'm saying? Not the white man destroyed. True enough, he destroys the people. But we can correct that. You know what I'm saying? You know? But... It's, it's just, it just don't make no sense. It just don't make no sense. But he was talking, interviewed, and on social media about this. It don't make sense. Just look and listen to what T.I. is saying. His philosophy is. It don't make no damn sense. It do not make no sense. So, I mean, if I had a wife. And I'm a well-known rapper. I make so much money selling albums. And then I venture off into acting. 
and I do a magnificent job in acting, make so much money. My agenda is, okay, like your song, T.I., you said motivation. That is motivation for, for me as a man that I'm in the field of a profession of entertainment. And you're entertaining different spirits of people. You know, if I'm in that position of T.I., motivation, I'm going to take care of my wife. I'm going to take care of my children. As I build a well-known foundation, a successful foundation, grand hustle. And when I step away from all this and sit back and relax on the beach as an old man, either I'm going to pass it down to my wife of this business or one of my children. You know, that's the motivation. Take care of my wife. Take care of my children. Make sure they right. Take notice, media. Just listen to what T.I. is saying. His philosophy, he talks. It do not make no sense. It do not make no sense. I don't care what you say. It do not make no sense. But the ones that are fans of him, they're not going so quick to believe this, what I'm saying. But take notice and listen what he says on interviews or who he's been interviewed by. And they bring this up. His philosophy, what he's saying. It do not make sense. Marriage relationship is not a distraction. That's why when God created the woman from the man... He said, woman, you are the help meet to the man. That means the woman's job is to assist the man in all areas. You know what I'm saying? Assist the man. You know? Help meet. Help meet the requirements. You know what I'm saying? But what you're doing, I don't care. This goes out, goes out for anybody that you, any man, black or white, that choose to mess around and whore around. But what you're doing, you think that's all right to cheat on your wife, cheat on your girlfriend, mess around with all these women. What you think that's cool, that's not cool to do. You're labeled and categorized as a whore. You know what I'm saying? A whore. You know, to mess around with all these different, different people. You will reap what you sow. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no good outcome in cheating. It's not a good outcome. You know? You will get something out of it that you do not want. Either a baby or a life-threatening disease. You know what I'm saying? I don't care how pretty she is in the face. I don't care how her, her behind looks, her breasts look. But sometimes what looks good on the outside. It's nasty and filthy and trifling in the inside. Not right for you. You know what I'm saying? So when you have a particular woman, one woman, you're supposed to have one woman. You know? You're supposed to have one and only. And when you get married, you are one. Intertwined. You know what I'm saying? So I say this to to you. Change the course. Reroute, make it right with your wife, because that's what you're doing. You're still hanging with your wife, anyways. And honestly, that brings confusion to her. You know what I'm saying? Is we together? We try to make it or what? That brings confusion. You know what I'm saying? Change the course. Reroute that GPS. Make it right with your wife. That's what I believe. When you out flouncing around with all these women, groupies, and thoughts and stuff like that. That's a bring down. Meant to bring you down. Because you're going to get something out of that groupies and stuff like that thoughts, T.I. That is either a disease, threatening, or some other child. Or a downfall. When you go right back to prison again. Of a accusement of rape. Because you already is a multi felon Ain't no ifs and the buts about that. But what gets you out of prison so early at that time because of you got money. But anybody like me, oh, they hit me with the whole nine yards. 
You know, you got money. That's the reason why. And I'll say this to, to you, T.I. Money do not bring happiness. You know, there's a particular rapper got in the game before you. He said, more money, more problems. And that is that. Dre Wise. And this is Dre Wise Topic. Thank you for listening. And thank you for viewing. Like, share, and subscribe. Because this is truth. A wise master teacher said, The truth shall make you free. Have a wonderful evening. Peace.